All praises, all praises to the Most High, Sanini Nainini. Oh, great and mighty Creator, we thank you for all that you've done. We thank you for your many blessings. We thank you for all the things that you've created for our use and for our favor and for our good and for our might and our strength. We thank you for the things that you have caused us to go through. We thank you that you've made, given us more wisdom and more discipline in the way of the way, the things that you have commanded us to do. We ask you to be there for us in the hour that the enemy comes in like a flood. Be there for us when they surround us, set us up on a rock to stand. Deliver them into our hands if need be. Else we ask you to deliver us from them. Give us wisdom to deal with them. And to deal with them, we know by your grace we shall. We give you the glory in everything that you've done. And we thank you for this rest, this rest day. We thank you for this rest day all over the world, the rest day. Because we know that there remains a rest to the Bantu. Even the people of Sanini Nainini, even the great I am. Yes, good morning, good evening. Well, good afternoon, good evening to the Bantu and those who have taken Sanini Nainini, even the great I am that I am, as their God, as their power, as their source. We thank God for you and you and you and our. Scripture is going to come from Revelations chapter 12. Now, after we have reviewed the fact that uh, we've come all the way to 6, where the, the 144,000 was anointed and the seas were held back and everything was told not to hurt anything till we sealed the servants of our God in, in their foreheads. Now that has come to pass, now we get to this point about Revelation 12. I sometimes call this the intermission of the dream. Well, this is a transition of the dream of what's happening. Now, this is also where the thing is happening as far as uh, when he was talking about the wrath, when he talked about the seven seals and when he, when he started talking about the souls under the earth, people being killed for the most high for their testimony. Now, he, now he, here's another part, a symbolic part of that. It's saying here, there appeared, I'm in verse one, there appeared a great woman wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and uh, upon her head and a crown of 12 stars and we know that's denoting the bond to and she being with child cry oh having travailed in birth and pain to be delivered now this was a part with prayer prayer even our pain even now to bring the savior back our pain is happening now to be delivered. We have been chastised. We have been chastised. Now we're going to be tested. Her test was, oh, deliver me from this child. Deliver this child out of me. Get her, get her out of me. And there appeared another woman in heaven in verse 3. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns. Symbolic. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. And did cast him to the earth, and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. We're talking about that hero that is mentioned in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. How he tried to kill the Savior when he was born, killing the man-child of the Bantu. And she brought forth a man-child and who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up to God and to his throne. Yes, he rose from the, he rose from the dead, even on into the clouds, and taken from then on. And verse 6, The woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared of God, that they should feed her a thousand two hundred and three score days, approximately three and a half years. So it's still talking about this same period of time, this same period of time. There was three and a half years, even back with the with the horsemen. They ran a fast as we talked about the horsemen. You can go back to that last video. When we talk about the horsemen and speed and time. Now, Satan, there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels. Whatsoever is done in heaven is done in earth. Let your will be done in heaven as as it is in heaven, so it will be in earth. They fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought 
and his angels and prevail not. In other words, game over. Game over. Neither was there any place found anymore in heaven. And that great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan which devoured the whole world, and he was cast into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Savior. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, who accused them before our God day and night. Denoting a span of time to, you know, to get to you. There is no time in the, in, the, in the space that the Most High occupies, which is all space. We occupy a small space. There is, the accuser of brethren is gone. The accuser of the angels is gone. The accuser of, of, of the children of, of, of that, that are there, that have died at that time of the Bantu, gone. Now, we're getting ready to come down to something. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Okay, now we, we, we got to go back a little bit further. Not just by the blood of the lamb. They came by by the testimony. And, they, and by the word of their testimony, they loved not their lives unto death. Now, he might have said, he that loveth me. He, he, that, he that, if you love him more than you love God, then that, that, something's wrong there. But anyway. You love your God. You love your creator more than death because your creator is the one that can bring you out, even resurrect you from death. There is no power that anyone has, even, even no one except the, the creator gives that power to that person or that being to do such a thing. Now, in verse 12, 11, I'm sorry, 12. Therefore rejoice ye heaven and ye that dwell in them Woe unto the habits of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Why are you going through the things you're going through? Why is the bills piling up? Why it seems that these racist people or those all over the world that are racist, even those of your own skin, are greedy and racist and bigoted toward a certain class and all of this? Why? 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 Because they took on the devil. Didn't he say that with, with the Christ? He said, if you bow down to me, I will give you all of this and that. Yeah. He didn't give them nothing. He just taught them how to be evil to get it. Okay, now let's keep going. Because he knows that he had a short time. Now we're in verse 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast to earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. This is divine too. He, he persecuted and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time. Now he was still talking about that short span as with when he's talking about the seals that were open. That, that short span that it came about and the serpent cast his, out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood and the earth helped the woman and the earth helped helped opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed now see what we're we talking about that which keep the commandments of God okay now we're getting somewhere the commandments of Sanini Nanini the commandments of the most high the, the commandment of Yah the commandment of I am that I am and have the testimony of the Savior Mesinnesi. now the thing is is that the commandments. I don't know what the rest of that is, but the fact is the commandments. Even the even in the back, it's all throughout the Bible, keeping the commandments, keeping the Shabbat, keeping the the, 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 the the ordinances and all these other things. This is what delights, this is what the most high, even the I am, delights in. That you keep the testimony. There are two testimonies. There's a testimony of the Old Testament, there's a testimony of the Christ, or should I say the Savior, in Sinisi, who told us, he testified as to what the Father really meant in the commandments. Didn't give us a new commandment. Some of that stuff yeah. didn't give us a new commandment. You can't change what the Father have given. I don't care how much power the Father have given you. You cannot change it because the Most High does not change, period. Does not change. Does not change at all. 
Don't get, don't even see. We, we have to really get that in our heads. That's why we must always read the commandments. Deuteronomy, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Yes. We have to read it. Don't let it go. Well, we thank God for you, you, and you, and we ask you to rest. Even in this time, we, we say, do what the Most High says. Be like He is. And we thank God for you and you again. Peace. Until the next time.